What's up logical people this is Amar. You have a torch that requires two batteries to light up. You also have eight batteries out of which only four are charged and four batteries are not charged. But you don't know which four batteries are charged. However, you can try different combinations of batteries to light up the torch. What is the least number of attempts you need to make to ensure that it will light up the torch? Pause for a while and try to come up with the best approach. This type of puzzle requires two important things. One, you must consider all worst case scenarios in your approach so that with your final combination you can guarantee that the torch will light up in the end. 2. You must optimize your approach to reduce the number of attempts. If you have come up with the answer as 8, then your answer is not optimized. Let's see why and also we will see how to think outside the box to optimize the solution. There are two approaches that people generally follow but these are not optimal. In first approach, the 8 batteries are divided into 4 pairs. In the second approach, they are divided into 2 groups of 4 batteries each. With first approach, the worst combination to be considered is that each pair has only one charge battery, so that we fail in all 4 attempts. Then consider any 2 pairs. With these 4 batteries, you can have 4 more combinations and again consider the worst case scenario as you light up the torch in the last attempt. So it took 8 attempts in total. With the second approach, in first group you can have 6 combinations. The worst scenario to consider here is that we fail in all 6 attempts. That can happen if this group has either 4 discharged batteries or 3 discharged batteries. But we must consider that it has 3 discharged batteries. So that the 4th discharged battery can be put into other group to increase the number of attempts for creating worse scenarios. So the other group has 3 charged batteries and 1 discharged battery. Again consider that the 7th attempt will also fail. But then, in the last attempt, you will certainly light up the torch. So with this approach as well, you have 8 attempts. These are not optimal solutions. So how to think outside the box? The key to optimal solution is in the grouping. In approach 1, you have 4 groups of 2 batteries each. And in the second approach, you have 2 groups of 4 batteries each. You see everything in even numbers. Did you think of odd number groupings? You may have the first group of 3 batteries and the second group of 5 batteries. But again, in the second group, you will have 10 different combinations, which is definitely not a good solution. So you have to break this group further into 2 groups. Now you have these 3 groups. In first group, make 3 attempts with 3 combinations. B1, B2, B1, B3 and B2, B3. Worst case scenario is that none of the combinations lights up the torch. That can happen only if the group has either two discharge batteries or all or three discharge batteries. But you must consider that it has two discharge batteries so that the other discharge battery can be put in other group to make further worst case scenarios. Similarly, in the second group, make 3 attempts with 3 combinations B4, B5, B4, B6 and B5, B6. Again consider the worst case that none of the combinations works. And that can happen only if this group as well has only one charge battery and other two batteries are not charged. Now we are left with only two batteries. And considering all previous worst cases, this pair of B7 and B8 must have both charge batteries which will ensure that it lights up the torch. So by making the groups with 3, 3 and 2 batteries we can ensure 
that it will take only 7 attempts to guarantee that it lights up the torch. Hope you guys enjoyed, please like and share the video and if you are new please subscribe to my channel and stay updated with the new logic every week. Till then give a try to these difficult puzzles. Also check out interview riddles on my channel Logically Yours.